Hey y'all, it's Montresa. Um, I apologize for not making a post recently and uh, I didn't realize that I actually have a few dedicated viewers so I want to give a shout out to y'all, especially Jim. Um, so uh, yeah, a lot has happened since I last updated. Um, remember that job that I was always talking about that I hated so much? Well, I finally quit. <laughs> I finally quit. Um, it was about, it was over a month ago. So um, it was one of the best decisions I could have made. You know, the second I walked out of there, I felt this huge weight lifted off my shoulders. I went to Walmart, you know, in the middle of the day, like it was about four or five o'clock in the afternoon. And I never go to Walmart before, you know, like midnight or one o'clock because I don't like having to deal with, you know, all those people and buggies and stuff. And when I go grocery shopping, I know exactly where everything that I'm looking for is. So I like to go in and get out, you know? <laughs> and, um, but I went, you know, in the middle of the day, and I was, like, smiling and making eye contact with people, and, you know, they smiled and made eye contact with me, you know, I said hello or hey, and that's, it hasn't happened in a long time, long time, so, especially at Walmart in the middle of the day, so, um, yeah, um, if I have any regrets about it, the only thing is that, you know, I didn't prepare myself the way I wanted to, like financially, you know, one thing that held me there the longest was that, you know, I didn't want to leave that job before I had another one secure, you know, and, uh, because I've done that before, and it took me a month to find one, you know, and, uh, the job market here is, is not very good, I mean, we have a lot of jobs available, I guess, you know, for like LPNs and RNs and nurses and stuff, you know, but you have to go to school for that, and, uh, you know, I don't want to do that, and, um, <clears throat> I've had some interviews and stuff, you know, some of them I'm waiting to hear back from. Uh, I applied for a um, position at the library downtown. Um, I applied for an animal care specialist at the Humane Society, which I was so excited to find that in the, in the newspaper classified ads. Because um, I love animals. That's like my second passion. You know, my first passion is music. And, and um, so I went and applied for that and had an interview. and. Um, I don't know, I called last week because I never did hear anything back, you know, and, and, she, and the lady I spoke with said that they had hired some people because they were looking for part-time and full-time people. And they had hired some people and it hadn't worked out, and so the manager was going to, you know, make some more phone calls to hire other people. So um, I waited a couple of days for that, so I think I'm going to either call or go by tomorrow so I can talk to the manager, you know, myself, you know, just to let her know that I'm still interested in the job. I don't know how much it pays, but that's one of the, the type of positions where... I know I would love it, so it's just a bonus that you get paid, you know what I mean? So, um, we'll see what happens with that. I applied for um, a secretary position at the police department, and I uh, didn't get that. And I um, went and applied to uh, a relay company here um, last week. I think it was last Monday I went for that. And um, I thought it was just a typing test. And, you know, because a, a girl that I used to work with at my old company, uh, she was actually starting her training classes um, there, and she told me, you know, it was a typing test. And so I thought it was just, you know, the only kind of typing test I've had is where you see the words and you type them, you know. And I could type, like, a minimum, like, 80 words per minute, you know, 85 on a good day. And, uh, but it wasn't that type. It was, you had to listen on the headphones to what someone was saying, and you had to, you know, type that way. So that was a little harder, but, um, the minimum for that, I think you had to do, like, 60 words per minute, and I did, like, 50.1 the first time, and the second time was, like, 53, but the tape kind of hesitated, so I don't know if it was me or the tape or whatever, but anyway, so, but besides the typing test, there was also a spelling test, a reading test, and, uh, a memorization test. And the whole thing took probably about two hours because I was the only, only one there for a while doing everything. But um, I did really well on all the tests. And she said, you know, the secretary didn't know when the next training class was going to start. But my friend had told me that the next one was going to start at the end of this month. So hopefully I'll hear back from that because um, that one would be really good. I think I would, I would really like that one. And it pays well, too. And it's full time and benefits and all that good stuff. So we'll see. Um, I've been trying not to stress about money. You know, um, it seems like money, ever since my mom passed back in 99, has been, like, the constant thing that's holding me back from doing some things, you know, and, um, you know, I got my, what I thought was going to be my last paycheck from my old job, 
And um, since I only worked like a week and half a day, like six days, seven days or whatever, I thought the check was only going to be like 300 or something, but it was like three times that much. And um, I was, I opened that check, I was like, <gasps> felt like I won the lottery, you know, because I wasn't expecting it. And then I found out that um, it was the two weeks of vacation time that I requested, you know, that I hadn't taken yet, so they were paying me for that. So that was a huge blessing. I wish I would have been better at managing my money, but I did. Um, take care of some stuff, and I got to see my friend, um, up in Stone Mountain, her name's Shana, and, uh, cause she and I hadn't seen each other in about six or seven years, I want to say, probably eight years, I think, has it been that long? I don't know, it's been a long time, and, uh, she's invited me to stuff, and I haven't been able to go because of money and all that stuff, so, she and her husband were having a housewarming party, so I was so glad I got to go and spend some time with her and see her and hang out and stuff, um, what else? Step up to to the streets. Uh, I think it's Step Up to the Streets is the name of it. You must go see that movie. I'm going to definitely buy it on DVD when it comes out, like opening day, you know, whatever, release day. Because um, it was so much better than the original one, you know. And, and the thing is with, like, dance movies, usually, you know, the plot isn't that great. And, you know, the actors, you know, slash dancers, you know, either they're really good dancers and they can't act or they can, you know, it's just not very successful, but Step Up 2 was awesome, the soundtrack is great, I love it, I saw it twice in like two weeks, you know, <laughs> I saw it the day it came out, and then um, I saw it when I went to Stone Mountain with my friends, so, um, what else, um, if you haven't copped it yet, definitely cop Danny D. Kane's new album, it got released today, um, Welcome to the Dollhouse, and, um, this is, is anybody listening that you're hearing looping, because it's one of my favorite tracks on the album, it's the bomb. Damage is great, um, I can't wait for Day 26's album to drop, um, any word on Donnie, like, they didn't even say anything about Donnie on last night's episode, you know, really, they showed him, but they didn't really talk about him and his album, so, um, I don't know what's going on there, if anybody knows, let me know, um, what else, what else, what else, that's pretty much it, um, I think that's it. I can't think of anything right now. Uh, so, hope everybody's doing Oh! My birthday! My birthday was on March 6th. I am now 28 years old. Which I'm getting more used to, you know, the number 28. You know, I was really feeling kind of down and out about it, you know, like a week beforehand. Because, you know, like 28 is closer to 30. And, you know, ever since I was, you know, when I was younger, um... I had this concept in my head that 30 is considered old, you know, <laughs> and uh, now that I'm getting closer to 30, I'm like, am I getting old, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out a little bit, but I'm kind of embracing it more, and, um, you know, I've heard people say, like, 30 is the new 20 or whatever, so we'll see, maybe when I get 40, 40 will be the new 30, I don't know, whatever, okay, I'm babbling, so yeah, my birthday was, well, it was pretty good, you know, I didn't go anywhere, really, um, I got some presents, um, that's it, I think, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, um, hope everybody's doing well, um, spring is just around the corner, I'm loving this warm weather, um, and, yeah, I'll see y'all later.